So let's play our first level of Survival Master. We're going to play KSB1, The Cave of Volume. So to the first thing I need to do is log in. I'm, I'm going to play as player ID 1. So um, the player IDs are all two digits, so it's actually player ID 01. Let's say I try to log in with a player ID that doesn't work, like 999. So I type in 999 and I hit enter, and it tells me invalid player ID. Try again. So I'm going to type in 01. That's my valid player ID. I hit enter, and the first thing that I see is a reminder uh, of the controls for the game, and I will be able to see these again in the game if I want to, and uh, tells me clues about what I need to accomplish. So I can navigate around the screen using my um, W, A, S, D keys to move my character. W makes me walk forward, S makes me run forward, a makes me turn left, D makes me turn right. I can remind myself about these controls if I use the help um, button in the lower right hand corner in, our, in my global navigations, that question mark. It tells me what the controls are. All of these are toggles, so I can just click on it again and it goes away. In the lower right hand corner, my other um, navigations that are available to the left of uh, help is notes. So this is telling me information about the level that I'm in now. I haven't earned any awards. I'm in stage one. I haven't solved the volume of any of the shapes. And I don't know, of course, um, any information about what I have poured correctly or not because I haven't solved any shapes. My phone, my slate, brings up information tells me about playing the level. So here's information about playing stage one and stage two, and it gives me hints about ways to navigate around. For instance, it tells me to use the I key to turn information on and off. It tells me to left click to interact with shape keys and the trainer. It tells me that I need to calculate the volumes and then pour the shapes. I use the C key to change the camera. Um, perspective. I use the bracket keys to zoom in and out, and I'm going to calculate the surface areas, find out what those are, and use the correct matching key to unlock the lockers. So here's all my information. I can review this at any time by clicking on the phone. My map shows me here's the overall layout of the level. So I've entered right here. This is me, and here's the trainer up above. I'm going to go over and do the, um, the uh, shape volume challenge first, that's stage one. Off to the left is stage two of the challenge and that's where I need to calculate the surface area of the lockers so that I can get the correct key that will open them up. And then this camera icon changes my camera position. Right now my camera is located directly behind my character. I can use the arrow left to, to um, orbit my arrow left and right to orbit my camera right and left and up and down to move it up and down use my bracket keys to um, zoom in and zoom out. So we don't use the arrow keys to move the character in Survival Master. We only use the arrow keys to move the camera. The character is moved with the W, S, A, and D keys. So I'm going to move up to the character here and if I click on the character, I'll left click on the character and the character says, so you're one of the new recruits. And I can click and that will go away. I get dialogue from the character and if I need help then I get help from the character. So I'm going to change to some other camera positions now. So here's the funnel system where I need to pour my um, shapes into their matching cylinders. This is looking from uh, the other end of the cave of volume down at the end of the shape uh, surface area challenge looking toward the stage one. This is looking back towards the other end. So these are the two corresponding viewpoints from either end of uh, the cave of volume. And here I am back to my character. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come down here to stage one. When I do, I'll see that my, that my um, trainer is going to come down here and uh, assist. So if I have questions that the trainer can help with, I can click on the trainer and the trainer will um, perhaps give me some hints that will help me. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one example. I'm going to uh, attempt to pick up a shape. So I get close enough and then I just left click on it. 
When I do, that opens up a calculation panel. Because before I can do anything with this shape, before I can pour it into the funnel, I have to calculate correctly um, what its volume is. So I'm not going to work with that right now. I'll just hit cancel and it goes back. How do I know what the dimensions and whatnot of the shapes are? Well, I use that I key to toggle information on and off. And sure enough, there's the information about my cube. Okay, its uh, sides are 24 inches, so it's 24 by 24 by 24, and I can see that the, calcula the, the formula to calculate the volume is volume is equal to the sides cubed. So 24 times 24 times 24. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here and pick it up again. Now, one of these is a correct answer. Uh, the other five are not. So I can uh, select a answer. Let's say I'm going to select um, this answer. I've done my calculation and uh, for some reason I've selected this answer. Anyway, <clears throat> and if I hit the submit button then it's going to tell me nope that is not correct. So I need to find the correct amount. Now I want to be careful. I want to do these calculations carefully because I get awarded energy points if I answer the question correctly the first time. I answer the question correctly the, the, if I miss it like I just did. When I answer the second time I earn fewer points. After the second time I don't earn any extra points. I just have to solve it in order to be able to use the cube. So let's say that I do solve the cube correctly. Now what I need to do is I need to come over here and get ready to put my cube into the funnel. But before I do, I need to select one of these shapes, these cylinder shapes, that matches the um, volume of my cube and pour this in here. So how will I know which shape fits? Well, down below, I have, as you can see, an info panel, and it tells me the dimensions of the different cylinders, one through six. So it might not be a bad idea, a, a good strategy for playing this game might be to, I'm going to drop this cube for now. I hit the letter Q to drop it. I might get a piece of paper and my calculator and a pencil and start the level by calculating the volume for each of these cylinders so that I know cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what the volume is of each of these. So then I can place the cylinder that I need underneath the funnel so that when I pour the shape into it, the volume that's in the shape is going to fill up that cylinder exactly and that's going to solve that particular shape. So that's challenge one. Match each of these shapes that I'm working with with the corresponding cylinder that has the same volume. So I need to pick each of these shapes up one at a time, solve them, take them over to the funnel and drop them into the funnel by left clicking. So now I've already solved this this cube shape once so I can pick it up if I want. It's not going to ask me again because I already solved it correctly. And I just put it into this funnel by just left clicking on it. When I'm close enough, when I left click, in it goes. Now down here on the other end, for the second stage of the challenge, I have a number of keys. And what I need to do is I need to calculate the surface area of each of these shapes, these lockers. So I have a spherical locker, a square base pyramid locker, and a cube shape locker. Same dimensions as the lockers, as the shape volumes that I calculated up above. And here's my formulas and info that tell me, for instance, the surface area for finding this cube is six times the side squared. Now I need to determine, okay, what is that surface area? Now I'm going to zoom in with the right bracket key. And I can see that each of these keys has an amount labeled on it, like 1102.58 uh, square inches. If I want to pick up that key, I, I can left click on it and I'll be able to pick it up and bring it over here and put it into the lock and try the locker. Unfortunately, I can't do this now 
because I can't pick up any of these keys until I have previously solved all three of these shapes up here on top of the um, stage one challenge. So before I can even begin working on stage two, I have to complete stage one. And uh, once I've successfully poured all three shapes into the matching cylinder, then I can come over here and complete this level by using the correct key to unlock each of these shapes. Again, I want to be careful so that I can earn the maximum number of points and, uh, and carry that energy forward into my next levels. Along the way, I can use my notes toggle here, and it can tell me where I am. So it tells me right now, your current stage is stage one, so that's where I still am. And I solved the volume for um, the, the, the cube, so that's true, but it took me two attempts. But you can see everything else here on my notes is false, so it's telling me what I should um, be looking for next. So let's say that uh, I need some help. Now the reason my trainer is still down here at stage one is because she's letting me know you need to you need to be working on stage one. You're not done yet. So I'm gonna left click on her, and she's telling me if I need a cheat sheet, if I need some help, I've got my phone. Okay, well I can click on my phone and and I can review this information that's going to refresh my memory about how it is that I'm supposed to um, go about playing this level. So our objective is to uh, take our time and be careful and answer each of the calculations carefully, earn the maximum number of points so that we can carry these points forward from this level into our next levels. Now we only have to use the calculation panel here in stage one. When we get down to stage two to pick up the keys, we do not have to use the calculation panel to do those answers. But again, you want to be careful, so you're, it's definitely recommended that you use a calculator and, and a pencil and calculate the um, surface area for each of those lockers so that you know exactly what key uh, is going to unlock it.